Hi, uh, this is uh, just kind of a rant against the system, basically. Uh, there are certain things that I disagree with, uh, as you know if you've been following any of these rants. Um, one of them is the way the drug companies are demanding that we inject toxins into our babies and uh, tell us that it's valuable and uh, worthwhile. Uh, the first thing is, I was on the subway in England, and there's, I think it's an HPV thing, and they say if you're a girl between 12 and 17, uh, call this number and get this vaccination against cancer of the cervix. Uh, cervix is part of the uterus, for those of you who don't know, and it's a female thing. Uh, and they're saying that they have solved what causes cancer. Okay? I find that to be a bunch of hog shit. But uh, uh, I think I said they called my house, and my daughter was 14 or something. She said, you don't need to talk to me. I've already had sex, because apparently it has to be virginal girls that they do this with. But um, I think if people would look at vaccinations, look at uh, what's in them, what it does to the body, to the immune system, and made an intelligent choice, that would make sense. Uh, then I was reading in the newspaper that a woman, uh, her little boy had cancer and had been treated, and... Uh, they, she didn't like the treatment. He wasn't getting better. So the hospital uh, took him away. Now uh, They said they needed to do more treatment, even though the mom uh, disagreed with it, said she was going to do something else. They took the kid and, and uh, performed their therapies, I guess, uh, against the mother's wishes. Uh, that's a little severe as far as I'm concerned. I think freedom of choice in anything is uh, our God-given right. But apparently uh, I have been... Uh, misinformed. Uh, just yesterday I read about a bunch of nurses who refused and have refused, continue to refuse, to have the flu vaccination. Uh, the flu vaccinations, uh, I think, if I'm not uh, mistaken, that the numbers of people who react negatively, negatively to the flu vaccinations are greater than the people who die from the flu. And uh, <clears throat> so, uh, the nurses who refused the vaccination, <laughs> okay, just think the little irony there, the little bit that's kind of, if the nurses are refusing the flu vaccination, uh, there must be something to it. They must have, must have done their research and thought, these things are not worthwhile. And they're exposed to the flu. So, lo and behold, the authorities fired them. Uh, I think that that's unconstitutional. I think if you choose not to have somebody inject something into your body that you think is wrong with you and you can get fired for it, well, I think the system is really, really, really mixed up. Again, when I researched vaccinations and look at what they put in them and look at what they say they're doing and look at what, they, what has actually happened, I disagree with vaccinations as a wholesale whole lot of let's do everybody. And uh, I think it's getting out of hand. If they can fire people because they don't want to have vaccinations because it is not uh, nobody can force you to do that nobody can force you to inject stuff into your body or have somebody else inject stuff into your body that you don't want to I don't care who they are I don't care if it's big pharma uh, big government big corp uh, I think it's illegal and uh, I think people should start standing up saying hey this isn't right you can't force me or my kids to do what you think is right when we know it's wrong um, I think I said this, my son went into the military, they said you have to have vaccinations here in Switzerland, and uh, he came home and they went back and they said, you're the weak link, <laughs> and I told him, tell him, if everybody else is vaccinated, how can he be the weak link, you know what I mean, if he gets it, how's anybody else going to get it, if these vaccinations are far reaching and such a wonderful thing, uh, he went back in, the medical doctor screamed at him, but uh, told him what was true. They can't force them to do it. Nobody can force you to do it. I guess they can fire you if you don't do it. That's a little silly. www.micpeakperformance.com